Ashley and Ed, congratulations. We're here. You made it. And, you know, I know that the months and days leading up to this very day have not been uh, the easiest. You know, having to postpone your wedding last minute or last year because of COVID, dealing with the stress of vendors being quickly booked this summer, not being able to invite all the guests you may have wanted, having to smile through masks, and of course, dealing with all the chaos that comes with moving. Cause every single day before I knew your name I couldn't see your face but I prayed for you Every heartbreak trail when all hope fell On a highway to hell I prayed for you I kept my faith yeah. like that old King James said I'm supposed to It's hard to imagine bigger than I could fathom I didn't know you from Adam but I prayed for you Ash, starting today, God calls you into the role of a wife, a refining, distinct role that requires a lot of patience, forgiveness, humility, sacrifice, and as your friend and sister in Christ, I am very excited to walk alongside you on this new journey. As I was praying this week, asking God how he'd like for me to encourage you and Ed through the speech, he brought to mind the ways I've been able to witness how he has protected your heart throughout the years. I remember you going through a season a few years ago where singleness wasn't necessarily the most appreciated gift you were given at the time. Uh, though you wrestled with being happy for your friends who were getting engaged and married, while also wondering if you would be able to experience as well. It was evident that there was a peace God had given you as you put your hope in his sovereign plan for your life. You trusted that God knew the desires of your heart. You stood firm in his character and his promises. You were satisfied in him alone, and you submitted to whatever his will was for your life. Every single day before I knew your name I couldn't see your face but I prayed for you Every tail I'd fade in the goodbye rain Girl, even today I prayed for you I kept my faith like that old King James said I'm supposed to It's hard to imagine bigger than I could fathom I didn't know you from Adam but I prayed for you I encourage you, Ash to continue to trust in our good, good God who has been leading you through every season of your life. Remain satisfied in Him alone. You both know that marriage is not perfect because it's two broken and sinful people coming together, but there is such a rich and deep joy to experience through it when you look to the model of Christ and the church for the commitment, devotion, sacrifice, and faithfulness you are to imitate in your earthly marriage. Ed and Ash, may you marvel at God's love and the privilege it is to live that love out together. We give him praise and rejoice with you both. Congratulations, and I love you guys so much. Father, just thank you so much for bringing Ashley into Ed's life um, and Lord for bringing them to this day where today they're going to get married. They're going to say their vows to each other. They're going to commit to doing everything they can to grow in Christ likeness so that they can love each other all the more. And so Father, I pray that you'd be with them. I pray Lord for the ceremony that it would go smoothly uh, and that no matter what happens that Ed and Ashley would not feel stressed, that they would enjoy every moment with their family and friends who, who love them and who are celebrating with them both here uh, and online, Lord. Uh, and so we pray that you would receive all the glory and honor today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. 
When I was preparing this speech, I googled inspirational marriage quotes, and I'd like to share my two favorites. Number one, men marry women with the hope that they will never change. Women marry men with the hope they will change. Both are inevitably disappointed. And number two, we were married for better or worse. I couldn't have done better, and she couldn't have done worse. When Ed asked if I would be his best man, I was simultaneously honored and humbled. And I hope that the next few minutes will show you why. There are many things I could say about Ed, but in true FCBC Walnut fashion, I'd like to highlight three things that I appreciate about him. To make sure that Ed stays awake for my speech, I've included a quick reminder for him after each point. First, there's his honesty and integrity. Christians are called to speak the truth in love. In today's society and culture, that seems to value love over truth, Ed is a refreshing change of pace. He is always up front when sharing his opinion, regardless of whether it's a popular or unpopular one. If you don't believe me, try bringing up the Second Amendment with him sometime. Ed's bluntness can get him in trouble at times, but I have seen him grow in patience and gentleness over the years, which is a testimony to God's work in the life of the believer. Ed, continue to speak the truth boldly while also growing in love and gentleness. Second, there's his willingness to sacrifice for the benefit of others. As their wedding website mentioned, Ed and Ashley met online, so the process of getting to know each other took a different route than normal. Ed understood where Ashley was coming from and was happy to do whatever she needed to feel comfortable with moving forward in their relationship. And look where they are today. And I do promise and covenant. And I do promise and covenant. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Amen. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Amen. Amen. By the authority committed unto me as a minister of the gospel, I declare. Edward and Ashley are now husband and wife according to the ordinance of God and the law of the state. God having joined these two together in marriage, let no person seek to dissolve this union. Ed, you may kiss your bride. his faithfulness. Ed continued to protect Ashley physically, emotionally, and spiritually, pointing her to the author and protector of our faith, the Lord Jesus Christ. And don't lose your sense of humor. <laughs> Through the inevitable transitions that lay ahead, my prayer is that your love for one another will continue to grow and that your marriage will reflect Christ and his love for the church. Now, if you'll join me, Let's raise our glasses and toast to the newlyweds, to Edley. I've known Ash since our freshman year in college. 
at Cal State Long Beach, we met an um, Asian American Christian Fellowship in small group. Um, Ashley is an incredible listener, and Ash has been there for me in the good, the bad, and the ugly, and I just can't thank her enough for her immense patience um, that she has shown me these past 17 years. Just like getting started Somehow we're still running Like those kids back then Kids back then Scrape some knees and falling down But somehow we keep getting back up Long as there is wonder Gonna keep running Yeah, we'll keep running In this moment, it's electric Can you see it? Can you feel it? This dream inside is still alive today Yeah, we're on our way 